Uh, my name is Katherine Dorn. Uh, I'm a recent graduate of Meredith College. I graduated this past May with a degree in graphic design and a minor in studio art. As both as an artist and as a viewer, I respond most to, you know, expressions of emotion and the way that color can overlap and the way that light plays into effect and the way that shapes will draw the, draw the eye and these expressions that it's it's difficult to do in the way that I want if you're very meticulous about it because I've tried to be. And I think sometimes the truest expressions are the ones that are just about the expression. So I would say my style takes all those, those themes of color and movement and emotional connection and tries to bring it together in one piece that speaks not just to the subject I'm painting and the details and the colors of that, but how to use that language to convey the emotions I want to speak to my audience as well. I'm still trying to figure it out, I think. It's been an interesting past six, seven months, as it has been for everyone. But I think trying to create a space, um, I've got this amazing easel that I, I found this summer and, and things like that to try to like make, make sure I made time for this. Because I think if there was anything that really was so important about being in the school environment was that it was set aside time for this. And I, I could go in and I could go into a space, not just like physically into a space, but it allowed me to mentally get in that space. So I'm still working on it, but I, I think it's, it's important to set aside time because this is important. And with all my work, um, themes of the environment and specifically the ocean and marine life have always been really important to me. It's a topic I connect to, I feel very personally about. And this moment, this standing on this cliffside and looking out over this entirely new ocean was so powerful and impactful for me. And specifically that day, you know, it was, the sky was completely gray and dark. There was a strong wind. The waves were crashing 20 feet into the air off the rocks. You could just feel the salt and the cold around you. And I, it was so invigorating. It was so powerful. Like you could tell how deep this went and how much energy it had. And so with these paintings, with, with taking my subject and trying to develop a visual language to translate that, uh, this was a really interesting one to do. I The previous paintings I'd done a lot more like serene, floating, you know, water, light through the water, much more peaceful vibes. And this one, I really wanted to punch that, that aspect of power, bringing that into a, a visual component with these intersecting lines that, that keep that composition moving. It, it introduces a visual energy just on its own. And it also keeps the viewer moving around the painting and, and in that moment of just swirling energy. Visuals and images are such a powerful tool for communication, for education, for engagement. So I, I when I transferred to Meredith, it was also just transferring how I approached this about, I want, you know, I have this ability, I have this passion. How can I use that to, to tie everything together? So, you know, I, I'm, I'm working on graphic design now, but my visual art is just as important as my background in the sciences and environmental conservation, which is just as important as anything else. So I, th I think moving forward, what I want to focus on, what I really always wanted to focus on is how do I bring that together and how do I use it as a tool to speak to people and, and really just combine this in a way that people respond to. So my name is Noelle Gunn and I'm attending East Carolina University. Uh, I'm here as a master's student studying drawing and painting. And while I've been here, I've been exploring mixed media and stepping into the practice of installation art as well. Um, I play with textiles and paper making, painting with materials. The piece that was accepted is called And Into Waking Bloom. And it is a vision that I got in my second year of sobriety. And it was um, during a time where I was getting back into my career field and learning how to be present and live life on life's terms. You know, those first two years were like a roller coaster for me, like a ups and downs, ups and downs. And I was struggling that morning with, with, I don't know how I'm going to move forward and, um, and do that successfully. Like, how do I do this life thing? 
and cope with the things that are showing up. And I got this vision of a girl riding a bear. And that bear was gonna kick anything's rear end, basically, <laughs> that was gonna stand in my way of enjoying this life. You know, it wasn't until coming into this program that I was, I, I came in and I, I wanted to learn something different and I wanted to expand the toolbox. And so for me, uh, being a traditional drawer and painter, um, one of the things that I love doing is drawing from observation, what I'm seeing, uh, being in that moment. And on the, the, the extreme other side of that for me is drawing from memory and imagination, which I haven't done since I was probably eight or nine years old. Restricted myself from creating it because I, well, I don't have a real bear. I don't have a real person uh, to, to sit on that bear and, and that obsessiveness that I can get around that. And so it was a real leap into um, doing something different and, and going, going for broke. There's something about just stepping out and doing something new. And in this case, going to those different workshops, I'm always hearing something, um, those, those teachable moments, right? Just opening up to what can I be taught today? Am I gonna sit here and allow myself to play? And when I do, I tell you one thing, I, I get blessed every time. The front burner um, workshops, the, the one that sticks out most in my mind um, was the Mexican um, muralist, uh, where they were talking about uh, coming from our personal narrative. And so through that specific um, workshop, I, we had the opportunity to, to draw or paint an image uh, from our life. And that image actually has become the, the basis for the thesis work that I've been creating. And it, it gave me that three hour period to sit and play again, like being playful, not editing what I'm doing, not judging the things that are coming out of myself, just letting it flow. And I drew, ended up drawing a field that was behind my home. Um, I drew the garage where we would sit and uh, watch thunderstorms. We did that as a family when I was a little kid and how the dog would chase the lightning. And, and through that, there's this thread that's moving through the space. And, um, and so that is the memory that I'm playing with for, for the thesis exhibition. So thus above me, I've got the cloud forms that I'm beginning to create. I love being with people and I love community. And that's one of the big reasons why I wanted to come to school is to be a part of an, an artist network. And, um, and so when I found out that we weren't going to be coming back into the building and um, I, I had a uh, had some issues with that the, the positives that I see is that it's pulled me into the things that I have enjoyed since before coming into the program where I mean I would do daily walks and that did pick up once we went online and so I I mean I spent a lot of time outside and that's something that that does influence things that I make and and so a, a lot of the things that I'm playing with now um, you know are using sticks and dirt and um, the things that you know obviously again the sky and the clouds these natural uh, the green the leaves the the things that I pick up on walks brush um, so that's been interesting and, and something that I don't know if it would have evolved the way it would have if, uh, if we've been in the building all the time. My name is Katherine Ragland. I go to Pitt Community College and I'm working towards an associates in art. I was in a graphic design class and my teacher came up to me after I finished a project early and she said there was this contest and I had no idea about it but um, she said that she thought that my work was very good and that I should enter and I honestly did it for fun. I didn't think I was going to win or anything. I made it more for myself and as you can see I put it up on my wall. Moving forward I would definitely like to go into 
more of an illustrative um, role, like a children's book artist or something like that, because I feel like character design and illustration is where my strengths lie in. I more so created the piece to step out of my bounds and to challenge myself because I had never used Photoshop before until I took the class. While I was in the class, I was really struggling with what I wanted to go for for my career. I was in a kind of reflection point, looking back at what I have done and looking forward to what I'm going to do. And it was disheartening at first, but then I realized that there's a hope looking forward and what I will create and how I will grow as an artist. I still see it in the same way I saw it back then because it's kind of it's kind of like a time capsule. It's all of the feelings and emotions put into one piece and looking at it, it reminds me of where I was at. I can still look at it and feel the same way because there's there's always that looking back and looking forward and how you see it, if it's despair or if it's hope for the future. Me and my younger sister are both creative, but I try my best to um, inspire my little sister because she likes to copy what I'm doing and I'll show her new ways to look at things and to draw because she enjoys it as much as I do. Like winning and everything is just a lot of validation that like I can go forth into an art-centered career because a lot of the time you hear that it's not sustainable, it's hard to get into, but I just entered this contest for fun. And I remember when I got the email that I was one of the winners, I was in um, Florida with my grandparents and I checked my email and I saw it and I started freaking out on the beach but it's validating that I can create something I'm proud of and other people get as much enjoyment out of it as I do.